Gate moving. Thirteenth race field behind the gate moving up. Classic distaff pacers behind the gate moving up. Here they come. They're off. There goes Ramalette Hanover out for the lead. Hawaiian Flash comes out of there down toward the inside. Best laid plans. Sanibel Island is getting away in fourth as they move into the first turn from the outside. That's Hawaiian Flash up to get the lead now. Ramalet Hanover back to second. Yes, it's true. Underway up into third. Best laid plans is next, followed by Sanibel Island. Then comes Lifetime Member, who's racing in sixth. Next there at the rail is Aquatic Yankee. Coming to the outside is only the best. The trailers there are Magical Pride on the outside, Sporty Lucy, and Mercy, 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 as they go toward the end of the back stretch. Yes, it's true. Made the lead. Hawaiian Flash is back to second now. The opening quarter was 27 and 3 fifths. They're on the turn. Yes, it's true. Up front. Sitting in second is Hawaiian Flash. Two back Ramalette Hanover. Here comes Sanibel Island up on the outside. Strong now. Trying to follow Sanibel was lifetime member. They have 57 seconds. And Sanibel Island from the outside is up to battle for the lead. Yes, it's true. It is back to second. And then in third is Hawaiian Flash, two lanes, Ramblet Hanover. Outside, lifetime member, followed by only the best. Trapped inside, best laid pants. Third over is Magical Pride, followed by Aquatic Yankee. They go into the clubhouse turn, trailing our sporty Lucy and Mercy. Mercy, Mercy comes out from last. As they move midway on the clubhouse turn, Sanibel Island has the lead up on the outside now. Lifetime member is up into second, back to third. Yes, it's true. Alongside only the best, 126 and two-fifths. They move up the back stretch. Sanibel Island leads it by about a neck. Right up alongside. That's lifetime member. Yes, it's true. Has the rail in third. Alongside comes only the best. Then it's Magical Pride up into fifth now. Sixth along the inside. That's Hawaiian Flash. Then it's Sporty Lucy. Aquatic Yankee is three wide. Then it's Ramalet Hanover. The mile time was 155 flat. They come toward the top of the stretch. Three wide. Only the best on the far outside up to join Sanibel. Only the best just made a break. Sanibel Island now turns for home on top. Ready to move down the inside. Yes, it's true. It's Sanibel. Sanibel's got the lead. Here's Yes, It's True and John Campbell to win it. Yes, It's True in front. Sanibel Island, Sporty Lucy, and lifetime member. 223 and 4. A world record. Her circle is number 7. Yes, It's True. A four year old Bay Mare by Arts Place. Owned by the Allister Stables. Trained by Kevin McDermott, driven a victory by John Campbell, 223 and four fifths. A world record for one and one quarter miles for older pacing mares. In the winner's circle, once again, Nick Salvi, along with Charles Lockhart. Also in the winner's circle, Judy Wilson and publicity director Marv Bachrod. And we'd like to maybe call in for a second uh, Nick Salvi, who is the executive director of the Classic Series. Nick, come over and just say hello for uh, a moment or two. The Classic Series is shared by three racetracks uh, following the Dover Downs stint here today. Uh, head out toward uh, racing at uh, the Meadowlands and Mohawk, and then the final at Woodbine later this year. It must be pretty exciting for you as the executive director with so many great horses and things to look forward to. It's really exciting, Marv, this year a new format where we have all the races at the track on the same evening, which makes for a really nice card for the people that are watching out there on simulcast. And you get to see all the best horses, the uh, best drivers were able to come down tonight, and it uh, made for a great spectacle, I thought. I guess you were elated with the response. The most horses ever were nominated, 140, to the Classic Series, and the winners of over $23 million uh, showed their wares today. That uh, must be a feather in your cap. Well, that's a surprising figure, $23 million for 41 horses. And we need the older horses to stick around. And if the Classic Series serves that purpose, you know, keeps your stars racing past three, then we feel like we've done our job. Well, you've done a great job yourself. Uh, for those who remember back in the Brandywine days, uh, you had a trotter that uh, held the track record, uh, Speedy Anthony D. And then you went... Uh, 
out to the Meadows, and then you became part of the Meadows TV show, and now at the Red Mile, so you're getting around doing a great job. And, and in fact, the Red Mile starts next week, uh, next weekend. Well, we start Friday. Yeah, I uh, worked TV show with Roger there at the Meadows for a year and a half or so, and then had a chance to go to the Red Mile. It's exciting to be part of what's going on there. We start the spring meet Friday. A lot of the stables from Florida have come up, the big outfits like it used to be years ago, Mark. So we're excited about what's going on. That's for sure. And we'd like to thank uh, Moira Fanning and Judy Davis-Wilson from the Breeders' Crown and the rest of the uh, people from the media, uh, George Frick from the Delaware State News and Ted Black from uh, Maryland uh, Sports. And we, we certainly had uh, quite a bit of people here uh, whether they be just regular fans or media, and they saw a great day of racing. And you too, Marv. Don't leave your name out there. You're kind of the force behind everything that goes on here, and you deserve a hearty congratulations. Well, thank you very much. That's Nick Salvi, Executive Director of the Classic Series. And ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being with us today. Many thanks for Jack Gallagher for his excellent race calls, and we'd like to uh, make sure that people know that tomorrow... Wednesday and Thursday, 39 more races to go for the Dover Downs 2000-2001 season. Look forward to seeing everyone tomorrow, 4.30 first post. Winning exactly in that 13th race, 7 8 $24.40. Trifecta, 7 8 5 $3 95